Hi everyone, for today's DIY projects, we'll be crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. And for your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For the first DIY project, we're using two napkin holders from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be spray painting those with my Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold spray paint. We're also using balloon sticks from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to be spray painting nine of those. And I'm using my same Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold spray paint to spray paint those. And I'll just place them in this piece of foam ring while I spray paint them. And we are making a large wall sconce. The next item from the Dollar Tree is a chopping mat. And I'm going to use my ruler to mark the chopping mat at 9 inches by 11 inches. The chopping mat measures 11 by 14. So I'm just cutting a piece off from the long side. I'm placing it on a darker background so you can see. And for the rest of my balloon sticks, I'll cut those at 15 inches. So I have 32 pieces clear, 9 pieces gold, and we're cutting them at 15 inches. And these small pieces, just put them down. We're going to be using those for future projects. And these pieces came in the package and we're also putting these up for future use. Now it's time to attach our balloon sticks to our chopping mat. We're going to start right on that edge. Just make sure that first one is straight and then all of them will be straight. And I'm placing my glue right on the edges and directly in the center. Just make sure it's in the center and you're following a straight line. So I'm placing one gold balloon stick to start. And then I'll place four clear in between. And then one gold, then four clear and so on until we get to the end. I cut my chopping mat a little too short. I'm working on a silicone surface, so I'll just continue to add my balloon sticks. So you're going to be cutting your chopping mat at nine and a half inches by 14 inches. And that way it will fit snug between the napkin holders. So now it's time to attach our napkin holders and you just wanna put them right on the edges. To cover up the line of blue in the center, I'm using my rhinestone ribbon. And for my light, I'm gluing two of my rechargeable RGB light together and I'm placing them in the center behind the ribbon. Just make sure to leave that part exposed, the part that you have to plug it to charge and use your strong adhesive.
Here's how this one turned out. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our second project. We're using tower blocks from the Dollar Tree and I'm attaching three of them together using my wood glue, my Gorilla wood glue. So we'll be making square frames and each side has three tower blocks. So we need four rows of those to make our square. And this project is budget friendly, but if you'd like to go ahead and buy frames, it's up to you. So we'll be making panels and each panel took 20 pieces because we're going to be joining five frames. Okay, so go ahead and make as many as you'd like. I made five panels, so that's five times 20. Now that we have all our pieces dry, it's time to attach them and I'm using my wood glue. Just make sure to overlap each end so you'll have a perfect square. And one pack of your tower block will make five frames. And we are making a large wall decoration. And my decoration measures 26 by 42 inches and you can go as large as you'd like. So now I have all 25 frames completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my panels and I'm placing three of my frames on the base. And I'm just using my yardstick to make sure that they're lined up properly. And then I'll place two of my panels on top. And I'm using my wood glue to attach this. So this will be a strong panel when we're done. So as I was saying, you can go ahead and buy the 25 frames if you'd like, and this will avoid the next step. I'm also going to be covering up these frames um, just to get rid of the seams. I'm not a fan of the seams in the tower blocks. Okay, so I'm using my tacky glue just to go over it, and I'm watering down my tacky glue just a little bit. And then I'm going to be using some tissue paper just to cover up the seams and this will also add some texture but this part was time consuming so if you'd like to go ahead and buy some frames if you see some nice frames that you like just go ahead and buy your frames After I cover it with my tissue, then I'm brushing it with more tacky glue and this will hold it all in place. So I'm doing that for all my frames and this is how it looks when I'm done and you want to take it outside to dry. Now this one is dry. After it's dry, I use my gold spray paint and I spray paint it. And you're going to want to use a generous amount of gold spray paint. To avoid using excess spray paint, you can go ahead and paint it with acrylic paint first. And I'll show you the difference. While those are drying, I'm going to be preparing my flowers for the center. And I'm using eight spoons. And I'm just using the spoons from the Dollar Tree and I'm breaking the handle off the spoons. I'm working on a silicone surface. So I'm placing my glue directly on the surface. You could use parchment paper if you don't have silicone. Just place a quarter size or a little bit larger of your glue on the surface. Just wait until it gets a little bit tacky and then add your spoons. And I'm using eight spoons. Then after it's dry, add more glue to the center and then peel it up. I'll be using my white Rust-Oleum gloss spray paint and I'll spray paint my spoons and those will be the flowers for the center of our frame. 
Now here's the difference with the frame. As you can see, one is glossy and one is more matte. The one that's glossy, I painted it with acrylic paint first and then I spray painted it. Now I'll place my flowers on the inside of the two frames on the top. And you want to try to line those up in the center. And for the center of those flowers, I'm using my two inch mirrors and these mirrors are very thin, so they're perfect. Just click on more below the video and you'll find the description box. All the items will be linked there. And this is how you're going to hook it on the wall. And this is how this one turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our third and final project. We're making a vase. I'm using bamboo skewers. This is the 30 inch bamboo skewers that comes in the 12 pack. I'll use my garden shears to cut my bamboo skewers and I'm cutting the first one at nine inches and then half an inch shorter for the next size. Now I have all my pieces and you want to cut two pieces for each size. So I have one that's nine inches, two at eight and a half, two at eight inches, two at seven and a half inches, two at seven inches, two at six and a half inches, two at six inches, two at five and a half inches, and two at five inches. And we're also going to be needing three extra pieces at four and a half inches. So you just want to go ahead and line up your pieces half an inch away, just like you cut them. The nine inch will be in the center. Then I'll use my hot glue to attach all the pieces together. And we're making three pieces, then I'll attach all three with my four and a half inch skewers. I'll be spray painting these with my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold spray paint and I'm also using a hurricane vase from the Dollar Tree and I'll be spray painting the inside with my white gloss paint. Now it's time to attach my vase to my frame and the hot glue will not work. The hot glue does not allow me enough time to level my vase on the counter. So I'll be using my Aline's Mixed Media Adhesive to attach both pieces. And then I'll just use rubber bands to hold the pieces together. And you want to give this a full 24 hours to dry.
before it's dry you want to make sure it's nice and leveled and i'm snipping off a small piece and here's how this one turned out i hope you like this one so we're at the end of this week's project let me know which one was your favorite and if you'll be recreating any of them thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time if you missed last week's video here it is on the screen just click that rectangular box to watch thank you so much please remember to give me a thumbs up it really helps out my channel thank you take care and i'll talk to you in my next one bye bye